Hey, welcome back everybody. And today is a little bit different topic, but I think it's worth talking about. And that is, um, I'm seeing a lot of videos coming out on these uh, little endoscopes that you can use for, for firearms. They were 20 bucks on Amazon or $21 or something. So this is the one that I picked up here. And I wanted to see if it was actually worth 20 bucks. And it's kind of a mixed answer, but let's take a look at what we get for our $20. I'm not sure exactly how long this is. Um, it's got to be, I don't know, 9 feet, 10 feet, 12 feet. It's long. It's very long. Uh, it's longer than you anything you'd ever need for, for a rifle. The head on this is 20, or 0.21. So this fits down the barrel of all of my ARs in 223. So it fits and it, it's got just a tiny bit of room. It slides in quite nicely. The cable is it's a little bit it's a little bit rigid, so you can you can push it through pretty easy. Now you'll notice here this has got a little USB adapter. So I plug this into my laptop and uh, I've been playing around with this now for a few weeks. And I can run this down some I've run this down several barrels now and just kind of seeing what it looks like, seeing the image quality, things like that. Uh, this is compatible with both Mac and Windows operating system and it seems to work okay. It doesn't work great. Um, the, if you're in the video mode, it's a little bit jerky, it lags a little bit, but it does work. Right here is an adjustment for the LED lights on the front of this thing. Let's plug this thing in and take a look. So this actually gets pretty bright. I don't usually run it that bright in a barrel, and you can turn this thing way, way down too. So take a closer look there. You can, you can turn this thing way down, or you can actually turn it completely off. It comes with a couple other things too. It comes with, uh, comes with a little mirror, a little mirror and a magnet and a hook. These probably are going to be even hard to see. They're hard to hold. Um, little tiny mirror. This mirror will not fit down a barrel unless you're shooting probably a 50 cal. It's, it's, it's too big. Comes with a little hook, comes with a magnet, um, comes with some cell phone adapters. This thing will not currently run on an iPhone. If you have an iPhone, don't plan on hooking up to your iPhone. It doesn't have the special iPhone adapter. Um, I don't know if they're available. I haven't checked, but the idea for me was to just pick it up, test it on my laptop here. So if I've got a customer's gun in here, I can I can run that run that down the barrel real quick and just sort of take a look and see what what that barrel looks like. Now, I have a lot of barrels laying around here. I have a I have a pile of them right down here. So I've got this old uh, this old 308 Savage barrel here, uh, take off and. Uh, Let's run this thing dirty real quick, take a look at it. Well, let's clean it up, take another look at it. And I don't mean clean it, polish it, clean it. Let's just, uh, let's just run it dirty real quick, you know, pull a couple patches through it, maybe a brush, and then we'll, we'll see if, there's any, if we can physically see any difference in the video. All right, taking a look here, you can definitely see there's a lot of buildup. The coloration doesn't come through great, but I assume it's probably copper. So, you can definitely see it though. It's, it's there, it's all over. Now, if we play around with the lighting just a little bit, you can brighten it, darken it. Uh, well, you can even shine a light through the end of it. And that helps a little bit. And as we move through the barrel, it's pretty obvious there's a lot of buildup in here. Again, the image isn't great, but it serves a purpose. So that's what the, that's what the dirty old shot out barrel looks like, but it's dirty. So what we're going to do is just clean it real quick and uh, take another look at this. Now I'm not going to run a bunch of chemicals down through this. I'm just going to pull a brush through it a few times, pull a patch, and uh, with just a little bit of cleaner on it, but just scrub it out some of that stuff just, just to see the difference. Okay, so here we are playing around with the lighting a little bit and just taking a look. Now I didn't spend much time at all, probably 30 seconds cleaning this barrel out. They're really just, I just drug a brush through it a couple times 
sprayed a little uh, rem oil on a patch and pulled it through. But it's pretty obvious that there is definitely a difference in, in the image quality with a cleaner barrel. Uh, now, it doesn't focus obviously up really close. Um, you know, you're kind of looking you're kind of looking downrange there, you, but you can see the nice sharp edges on the uh, on the rifling on those lands, and you can also see there's some buildup right there on that land and a piece of fuzz I left behind from my from my patch. But it again, it's, it serves a purpose. It's not great, but it's okay. Is it worth twenty bucks? Yep, probably is worth twenty bucks. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, <clears throat> so there's clearly um, there's clearly a difference in, in, that we can see in a clean barrel versus a dirty barrel. The downside to this, these types of setups here, is you cannot get that, that angle that you need to see directly into the rifling. Now, to get something like that, it's going to cost you anywhere from about two, three hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars. So, you'll have to make that decision on whether or not uh, this type of product will work for what your needs are. For me, for just a quick check, for 20 bucks, yeah, it's worth 20 bucks. Pretty easy. And if something ever goes wrong with uh, who knows what else, with a, with a cord that long, you, you know, just for home projects, it's actually probably not a bad thing to have. Now, it's not great. Uh, by any means, it's not absolutely great. The image quality is okay. It's, uh, you know, but if you're really looking to see tooling marks, things like that, inside chambers or inside uh, rifling, you probably should step up and take a look at one of the uh, higher dollar ones, Lyman or, you know, a couple of companies that make them. But for something, just to, just to check real quick, um, I, think it's, I think it's worth 20 bucks all day long. One thing that it probably would have been very helpful for is I had a rifle here about a year ago and I really wish I had a boroscope at the time because come to find out I had to take it somewhere else somebody that had a boroscope that I borrowed and we ran that and the inside of it was rusted really bad and now this would have been able to pick up I believe those pits and stuff that the rust caused so for stuff like that yeah are you gonna pick up tooling marks uh, you know down that rifling no but all in all for 20 bucks, it's a good product. So there's a couple different ones on the market. I'll leave a couple links below. Um, you know, it is what it is. I've seen some reviews on them. Some people swear by them. Some people say they're garbage. Um, I guess I'll be the guy that says they're okay. They they serve a purpose. Are they great? No. Are they horrible? No. Video quality is a little jerky. You're not going to see 90 degrees into the rifling, but they do serve a purpose. So, anyways, that's my story for the day. We'll catch up soon.